Hey you guys, it's Christy, the Mobile Home Diva. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the Blakely. It's out at Wayne Fryer Homes in Byron, Georgia. It's a live oak home, okay? It's four bedrooms, two baths, and I can't wait to show you what it looks like. Let's go. Hey family, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a voiceover versus walking through the home and telling you what I see. It was just a lot going on at the site, so bear with me. Now, this is the front entryway. What I like about this home is that there it's open, but it's separate. So first we have this beautiful, beautiful door uh, that greets you when you first enter the home. And then you have this lovely entryway. It's enough space for a bench, for a entry table, for uh, some nice decor there. And it's, it's just a really, really nice open space um, to greet you. When you first walk in, you have an area to take your shoes off before you hit the carpet. I just love, love, love uh, the way this entry is set up because again, it's open, but it's separate. Now you have these beautiful arched uh, entryways into each room. This first room here is the living room. Look how beautiful this living room is. It has a real fireplace, it has stonework, and every entry has those arches. I just absolutely, absolutely love it. It reminds me so much of a stick built home. You've got a lot of space in this living room, a lot of light, uh, a lot of windows to let the light in. Just a wonderful space. They did a really good job uh, with the decor to show you how to look. And they did a wonderful job with the features because look at the book, the uh, beautiful mantle. You have a long mantle. You have space for a large TV up here. Um, you have uh, an area for decor or books or uh, records or they call them vinyls now. Um, just whatever you like in the built-ins. And again, as I stated, you have a real fireplace here. Just cozy. I absolutely love it. I could see that stonework as the underpinning for the outside of the home. It would just really bring that texture from the inside out. So really nice. Nice use of space in here. Nice size room. Just beautiful. Let's take it all in for a moment. As you can see, you have the vents in the ceiling. You also have a ceiling fan in this room. Really lovely. Really lovely. So now we're going to leave the living room and we're going to go on to the dining room. Now this next arch entrance leads into the dining room kitchen and you can also enter the kitchen from the living room. But into the dining room, look how much space you have in here. You can put a huge, this table is really too small for this space. Like you could put a huge table here. You've got space for a buffet. Um, you've got space for like, even if you didn't make this the dining room, if you didn't need a formal dining room, it's just a big area that you could do a lot with. Love the fact that they have that chandelier over that table. And again, that table is really too small for the size of the space that they've allotted for the dining room. Those two archways lead into the living room and then you have your beautiful kitchen here. You have an island. You also have storage uh, below and above the island, which is a nice touch. You don't often see that. Um, I love the light colored, uh, I love the light colored uh, countertop here. Just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Look at that huge window over the sink. 
all the light in this house. It just, there's a lot of light coming into this house from every room. I just love that, uh, that feature about the home. I like that you have space for your decor above the cabinets, just a lot of space. You have counter space over here. You have two windows in this huge picture window that can open really lovely. Well done. Well done in this kitchen. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. You've got your Frigidaire appliances in here. Really nice. Just like to open the cabinet so you can see inside. As you can see, those are cabinets above. Um, right here and we'll go walk over into the pantry so you can see that in a minute i'm just going to back up here and give you another uh pan of the kitchen just so you can get a feel for the outline now here in the pantry you've got a lot of space for your pantry needs uh you can put appliances in here you can use it for food stuff you can do a little bit of both but well done having a pantry in this kitchen especially because they don't have as many cabinets as a lot of other kitchens, then it's really nice that they made sure that you had a pantry. Love this area over here because you can really decorate your kitchen and make it beautiful. Absolutely lovely. I really like this setup, you guys. I really like this house. It has the finished drywall, which is always a nice touch. It just, it just really feels like a stick built home. So as we go down toward the additional bedrooms, you have this bonus room here at the end of the hallway. My husband would love this room. This would be a really nice man cave for him, especially because it's not so close to the common area of the house. So this is on the other end of the house. It's a nice size room. Some theater chairs will really look nicer here. As you can see, this is large furniture that they have in this room. So it really shows you that you can really put some furniture in here and still have uh, a lot of space because that's large furniture, comfortable too. So I would put some theater chairs in here if I made this a man cave. Um, it's, he's got a ceiling fan in here for ventilation, which is really nice. I love how they have the darker wall, like a feature wall over there. I might even um, go a little darker with that wall because um, I might even go a little darker with these walls because if, you know, as a man cave, he would have a huge TV in here and surround sound and I'll just really make it comfortable and cozy. I like the fact that they have booking ends in here too, because if you use it for a playroom for the kids or uh, I don't know, a hangout spot for them, then they've got a place for books or if it's a gaming room you got place uh place for games and lots of storage back here but really nice for us it would be a man cat a man cave and it would be a really really nice space not too small not too large it would be a really nice space for my husband to have his own and i think that's what he misses in this house because he doesn't have a man cave here like he had in the last place that we live but really nice so this is the bonus room love it love it love it always nice to have and it doesn't have to be a man cave or a family room it could be your office it could be a lot of things just whatever you like now this is bedroom number one you have bedroom number one here i'll give you a pan before i walk in you got your closet over there a standard closet not the largest additional bedroom, but it's a nice size none, nonetheless. Now, if you needed this to be an office or an additional bedroom, it would make a great size for both. So that is bedroom number one. Turn around and give you one more look at the bonus room. Now you have bedroom number two and three over here and you have an additional bathroom. So we'll go in guest bedroom number two first. This is the second bedroom. The closet is counter corner. Let you look at the floors to give you a good idea of how big it looks, how big it is. You've got a walk-in closet in this room. 
really nice. So that's your closet. Give you one more pan. Now next to bedroom number two, you have your additional bathroom. Nice size bathroom. You got two sinks in here and a large uh, mirror so a, more than one person can get ready at the same time, which is really nice, especially in the mornings for school. Lots of storage in here as well. Really pretty. So that's your additional bathroom. And then bedroom number three is right on the other side of the bathroom. This is bedroom number three. You got another cattle corner closet in here, same size room. We'll go in and give you a pan so you can see the room and the closet, which is a walk-in closet as well. Really nice. You could probably maximize the closet space by bringing another shelf on that wall right in front of you but really nice all right so those are your three additional bedrooms your bonus room and your bathroom on this end one more pan of the bonus room really nice bonus room i love it and then back down the hall we're gonna go see what's on the other side of the house Really nice. I also like the fact that the master is not right at the living room as it could be. You have this hallway that leads to the laundry room. That's kind of hard to see. So I'm going to walk in and try to give you a good look. That door wouldn't open for me, even though I tried. But let's see if you can see inside this laundry room. That's me trying the door. So bear with me. Okay, so this is the laundry room. It's a really nice size laundry room, you guys. I'm sorry it's so dark. You've got the wash and dryer area over here. You've got all of this space for storage, and there's a door in there that leads to the master um, bathroom. Uh, but we're not gonna go in. There. No, that's a closet, I'm sorry. That is a kind of like a hall closet by the back door. So really, really nice that that is there. Trying to give you a little light with my phone. This is really a nice size laundry room. Sorry, I got it confused with another house that I saw that day. But yeah, this is your laundry room, a huge room. You could do a lot in here. You could put a deep freezer in there. You could do a lot in that laundry room. Now across the hall, from the laundry room is the bedroom, but before we go there, you have this hall closet here, which also serves as a closet off the living room that guests can hang their coats or you could use for storage or you, if you needed the extra space, you could put shelves in there and use that for a, a linen closet or a storage closet. So really lovely. Now let's go into the master bedroom nice size master bedroom you've got all of this space in here there's another ceiling fan in this master bedroom really lovely you could put your uh, headboard on either wall and still have a lot of space which is what i love and i love the fact we're going to see it in a minute you've got two closets in this master that um for his and her so let's take a look and actually it's two doors it gives the look of two closets but the way they have it spaced is like his and her which is really nice my husband and i could actually share the space because he would have a side and i would have a side and i could put my things in the middle as well <laughs> really nice but it's enough space that we could absolutely share so beautiful really nice so this is the master closet and it is in the bedroom and not the bathroom. All right, off the master closet or next to the master closet is the master bath. You have a huge soaker tub, soaker tub right here to the right. Storage on either side of the soaker tub, which is always nice. 
like how the arch continues into the master bath and i like that wall is a different color and it gives it a nice pop you've got a huge huge shower here love the tile on the wall and i love this nice long bench that's a real bench you guys that you can sit down and and just relax in the shower so really nice you've got your two sinks over here with lots of storage space my side has additional drawers which is really nice and additional storage space in the middle you could give it a real nice spa feel love the tile uh, love the linoleum the, 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 love the vinyl floors in here and the fact that you've got a water closet for privacy when you have to use the restroom and it's more than one person in there so really lovely this is the blakely you guys really nice home absolutely love it it's out at wayne fryer the price is here on the screen this is a starting price you guys so of course you know if you order anything additional there'll be additional charges but this is the starting price okay i hope you enjoyed this home tour let me know how you feel about the voiceovers i kind of like them uh, but this has been a really beautiful home to tour if you have any questions or you want to reach out to somebody regarding this home all the information i have will be down in the description box below thanks so much for watching